Hysteroscopy is stated as the second line of investigation used in recurrent pregnancy loss. It is said that hysteroscopy is the most neglected field in gynecology because we tend to consider it last. We stick in a laparoscope very easily, but to stick in a hysteroscope, we really think twice, do we have to really do it or not? But how essential it is in the next few slides you'll come to know. Hysteroscopy should be done if their other tests are non-conclusive. In case of two previous first trimester abortions, our ultrasound or a 3D scan shows positive findings. So when do you require an eye inside the uterine cavity? If there are anatomical defects, submucous fibroids or polyps, or if there are adhesions. So anatomic abnormality is the first thing which we come across in recurrent pregnancy loss. 15% of the couple with recurrent pregnancy loss have an uterine anomaly. And what are the types of anomalies? There could be defects in the fusion, it could be DES exposure, abnormalities in the circulation of the, to the, I mean, the blood supply, or the cervical function is abnormal. I will not be dealing with the cervical function. Defects in fusion, you have a septum, a bicornuate uterus, and a rudimentary horn. Now, when there is a bicornuate uterus, why do we have to stick in a hysteroscope? Well, most of the time, a septate uterus is given as a bicornuate uterus.